previously in Finero. There's a lady, she has just carried a chair and she's putting it down. She's in blue. She's next to the screen. Come, come, put up your hands. In the name of Jesus, receive it. Receive the anointing that is going to make you different from your family, from everybody you're related to. Take it in Jesus' name. Even your lungs, I've seen some abnormal infection in your lungs. God delivers you in the name of Jesus. Lady with orange also come. I need to pray for your spinal system. Give me your hand. Devil, you will not cripple her. You will not cripple her. In Jesus' mighty name. I just saw you drowned by water. I just saw him, the devil wanted to drown him by water. Somebody stretch your hands towards this guy. And it's, I see like it has also happened before where you, you almost drowned. Not far from now. It was going to come back again. Somebody stretch your hands towards this guy. We rebuke and bind and destroy every spirit of death. He will not die. He will live in the name of Jesus. Somebody break it. Say he will not die. He will live in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Romans chapter 10 and verse 1. He says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them the record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of for Christ, the Bible says, is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that what? That believes. It says, for Moses describeth the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth these things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. Say not in thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down from above. Or who shall descend into the deep? That is to bring up Christ again from the dead. And he says, but what saith? It. He says, the word is nigh thee, even in thine mouth and in thine heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. In verse 20, Isaiah tells them, I was found by those that sought me not. And I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. But to Israel, he says, all day long, he still stretched his hand. He says, he has stretched forth his hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. Because every time he's reaching out to them, they have a very twisted understanding of how to receive him. They go into works. They go into effort. Grace existed from the foundation of the world. The gospel existed before the New Testament. There are people who never went to the Holy of Holies, but accessed God. And that was the way of grace. The interest of God pertaining the life of Abraham was more important than anything Abraham was doing at that particular point. Who sought the other? God sought Abraham. Because some people don't understand this principle, some have invented ideas of how they think they can catch God. Their understanding of seeking God is chasing after him. We are not preaching of a God you're going to find in heaven. Some of us is inside here. <laughs> In him I live, move, and have my own being. I don't need to go up there to get him. No, he's inside here. This is the mystery that was hid from the ages, past and now revealed. Christ in me. I have the Lord inside me. He's in my spirit. That is why you'll walk in the spirit. That's why you'll go in the heavenlies. That's why you'll hear angelics. That's why you'll see things in the spirit. Why? Not because you're seeking God, but because he is with you. He says, greater is he which is in you than he that is in the world. I don't care what you've gone through. I don't care what they have said about you. I don't care what is even happening in your life. I am fully persuaded that he is the author and the finisher of your faith. And he, if he did indeed begin a good work in you, he shall see it to accomplishment to the day of Christ. We are not seeking God because we want to have a job. If you're here and you're seeking God because you want to have, then you've not understood the spirit of grace yet. Grace gave you everything. If grace has revealed to me that I have all things, I'm not in the presence to get things. I'm in the presence to receive from him. 
knowledge. He says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. The day I finally had the understanding, not just the appreciation, but the understanding that people perish because of a lack of knowledge. I knew that every price that is to be paid by every child of, of God is to pursue knowledge. The primary ministry of the Holy Spirit is not to deliver you. The primary ministry of the Holy Spirit is to teach you. He says when the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, who the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. And the Bible says, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto thee. And when you know the things that are taught unto you, the Bible says you're free. Every time the law is preached, men are pointed in their need. And every time they are pointed in their need, they distance themselves from Christ and then get indulged in the basic things that surround them. God does not work with you based on what you do. He works with you based on what he has done. When you receive the right doctrine, God works through you. The power to do comes because of the revelation of those things. It doesn't come because of the ability to do. It doesn't come because of your goodness. It comes because you believe the right doctrine. When you receive the right revelation, you are certain you will do. Because God has not called you to do. He has called you to allow him to work through you to do. There are voices in the spirit and there are sounds in the spirit. Not all voices sound to God. When you sound grace, you manifest the fire of the spirit.